Hey, what's up folks? Jam Book Reviews here and today I'll be doing something a little different. I'll be talking about where you can buy books in Jamaica, mainly focusing on independent bookstores. Unfortunately, the ones I know are all Kingston based, but if you are aware of others in other parishes, please post them in the comment section. The first store I'll talk about is probably the most popular, Bookophilia. This store is located at 92 Hope Road, Kingston 6, which is just before you get to Sovereign coming up. I like this store because when I think of what a Jamaican bookstore should look like aesthetically, it fits the bill. It's modern, but it has a very natural look to it. If I saw it and didn't know what it was, I think it was like a florist shop or something. It's in the city, but it has a very open space type design. When you're inside, you can see the outer surroundings easily. It is a relatively small store, and it doubles as a cafe, but it still doesn't feel clustered. I'll share a video in the description for you to see what I'm talking about. But most importantly, it has a great selection of books. Not as large as its more mainstream counterparts, but the variety is great. I can get some books there I wouldn't get at like KB or Sangsters, like this autobiography of Huey P. Newton, or this iconic flash of the spirit, and uh, you know you can get like modern writers like Tejo Cole and MK Asante. They also have indie books by local authors, so here I have a poetry collection by Sheldon Shepard of Nomads and the collected writings of Dottie Bookman, the reggae revivalist. They also have books from the wider Caribbean, like this essay collection from Rupert Rubnerain of Guyana and this book on George Padmore of TNT. And of course, they have classic stuff too, like this poetry collection of the American poet, great American poet Paul Dunbar. And you know, these are just the things that I buy. They have YA and romance and every other genre you can think of. The store appeals to every reader. One cool thing is that they'll allow you to read the books before you purchase any of them. So as long as you're in the store and you know if you have time you can sit and read some books or get some coffee or stuff like that. They also host events. I'm not sure what's happening during the COVID but usually they have like a children's reading corner and a book club for you know older audiences, poetry readings, live events, you name it. So yeah, go check them out. The second store has been around for a very long time, in fact it might be the oldest bookstore still in business in Jamaica, I'm not sure. The Bookland Bookstore located at 53 Knutsford Boulevard, Kingston 5, that is right beside the Starbucks in New Kingston. This store has the widest selection of books, three floors worth of books. Inside it feels like a library and I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if they fixed it yet but the higher you go, the hotter the store gets, and also the cheaper the books get, to 80% off on the top floor, best deals in the island, and the selection is amazing. Here I've got the original novel that inspired the movie City of God, where you can get works by Arson Scott Card, Isabel Allende, Jane Eyre, different countries, different genres, you name it. Some of the most beautiful books in my collection are from there like the complete works of Edgar Allan Poe from Fall River Press or the Everyman's Library complete works of Khalil Gibran. I also have a larger version, you know, published by Castle Books. It's from the same store. Then last but not least, this beautiful word, word cloud classic edition of Frederick Douglass's autobiography. But wait, there's more! All Caribbean classics and Perry Hensel's only novel. Good stuff, go check them out. Up next we have a real indie seller, a traveling book salesman, I Nation. He's a one-man show, a brother who goes around major cultural events selling some great books, primarily geared towards what I'll call an Afrocentric curriculum. So he'll have books on or by Marcus Garvey, Shekanta Diab, Franz Fanon, Walter Adney, you know, the best of the best. But you can also get books like Rich Dad Poor Dad, The Art of War, and The Richest Man in Babylon. Most of his books are for self-education and the improvement of the individual, so no idle stuff. I'll share the link to his Facebook page where you can contact him and, you know, buy some books. 
The last one I'll highlight is actually a store I've never been to. I saw it while looking for YouTube videos on the others. It is a children's bookstore called Cozy Corner Books and More. And the reason I highlight it is because it launched last year and is independently owned by two Jamaican mothers. And I thought that was really cool. So I'll share their page. Definitely check them out if you have children. You know, get some uh, educational books or toys or something. They are located at shop th number 3 Vision Plaza, 3A Central Avenue, Kingston 10. And I'll link their channel as well. But don't think that I'm throwing Kingston Bookshop or Sangsters under the bus. I bought some really good books from them over the years like, you know, the Vibes Cartel book. So uh, shout out, you know, to Kingston Bookshop and Sangsters. The aim is always to get more people reading. And Jamaica is a place where there aren't many bookstores, you know, distribution wise, but you can just walk into like a random pharmacy or a stationery store and find a small selection of books for sale. I found some really unexpected books sometimes out of the blue, so it, uh, it's always good to keep an eye out. So yeah, thanks for listening and buy more books.